Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. So, uh, in the last episode, we chal- well, actually, the yeah, last episode was like, uh, well, I we did work on the Reaper, but I never beat him, and it didn't actually make it into the episode, so pardon me there. However, in this episode, we work on the Reaper here, and first off, let me explain my new strategy to you guys. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not making it so the Reaper is last, instead I brought Akihiko because he's a great debuffer. And I encounter the Reaper and run away until I get a turn order that's like me, Mitsuru, Yukari, Reaper, and then Akihiko. Akihiko needs to go after the Reaper, because the Reaper... So you attack with Mitsuru, or you attack with Thunder Rain for yourself, which shocks him. And then Mitsuru attacks with her sword. You set Mitsuru and Yukari to all out or to knock down. And Mitsuru attacks with her sword, knocks him down, you do your all-out attack. Yukari attacks with her bow, knocks him down, you relent. And then he wakes up and wastes his turn getting up. Akihito debuffs him, rinse repeat. Um and that's pretty much how you do the entire fight. Once you get over the first like three turns or so when Akihito is getting Masakunda on the boss, once you get over that. Uh, it gets a lot easier because you're, you're missing a lot less. I think I missed like maybe once or twice in this battle. And it was in the first the first three turns. I think I missed on turn two. Um, and I think that's it. Luckily I got lucky and he just chose to ice break on Mitsuru instead. Um, but yeah, rinse repeat that strategy here as I am doing. And it will work out hopefully in the end. I don't recommend, like, I tried it and I was kind of dumb. I was like, oh, I could probably do this with, like, 62, 63, something like that. Yeah, no. Just no. Grind up to, like, level 70 or something uh, if you're not already there. And and then once you're about level 70 or so, then you can try this. It still took me a couple hours to, to get the Reaper down here. A couple hours of trying. But it is what it is. And it finally... Uh, finally happened. So, so sweet. Also, fast forward. I haven't done a fast forward segment in a while. Mainly because the story's been kind of like a lot more in your face about how it delivers its story time. So, so there have been a lot less need for a, like a story summary or something. So it's all been pretty overt now. I mean, the end of the world is coming and we're trying to stop the unbeatable boss and that's it. However, um, from here on out, I think I'm going to let live Super Genius take over. Um, we're getting pretty close to the end here, so bye-bye. Is this it? Is this it right here? You'll fall by my hand. It doesn't look like it, because... Nope, but we're close. Yukari? No, it's still not it. I'm not gonna, not gonna risk it, though. Relent. Do not, don't you dare attack it twice. I do not trust this. Do not deviate from the planned course, no matter what. No matter how close you are, do not change the plan. Akihiko, yes! Whoa! Finally, Reaper! You're dead! I got your 12,000 experience. I got your damn bloody button. Give me that. Woo! That only took, like, forever tries. I mean, I knew it was possible at the level I was. But, still... It feels good to have it done. So, Fuka, could you please make us an escape route back to the entrance? So, yes, I'm sure I would like to go back to the entrance. So that I can go and turn in this request to... to Miss Elizabeth. Because we have defeated the Reaper and she owes us five million yen. All that yen we've been paying her to, to give us personas back? I'm pretty sure she owes us pretty much all of that back now. Well... Actually, we've paid a bit more than 5 million yen for that. However, I'd still like it back. So, let's check our request slash compendium, because I did accept the bloody button request. I have indeed, Elizabeth. It was a hell of a thing. Why, thank you. Am I really? Okay, any way I can help, of course. Five million yen! We're the richest people around now! 7.5 million yen! Oh my god! Okay. Requests, Starlet Havoc, and other than that, Kaplawa Wow, look, it's all gray. Everything's gray. So, sweet. Woo, that was, that was a thing. I'm glad that is done. 
So, I will meet you guys back to Tartarus. I'm just gonna save and calm down for a sec. Whew. Okay, guys. So, we are back here in the base of Tartarus. And... What is this? There's a... An enormous door. Okay, sure, let's go inside. This could definitely not be bad, right? Mysterious doors appearing in Tartarus that are ginormous. That sounds safe. Right? Wrong. Welcome to the Monad Depths, the hidden block of Tartarus, filled with extraordinarily powerful shadows, which I did not want Mitsuru to engage right there, but I guess we are engaging them nonetheless. Let's see who we are fighting. Oh, this could actually be possibly good if they don't murder our faces off. Which is highly possible here. Because pretty much everything in the Monad Depths is at least level 88. And then going all the way up to like level 98. So, science. However, these things here, as they uh, proceed to murder our entire party, uh, the Vehement Idols. These things are weak against Hama. It just so happens, Personas, I have my Daisojo with me. So, with Hama Boost, Samsara, and them being weak against Light, I'm very hopeful that they are going to all go kaboom right here. Well, everything but one of them. So, assuming we can just survive, survive our encounter with this thing here. Oh, they block wind, Yukari, just FYI. Mabufu dying, do we survive? Yes, we do survive. Yukari even survived. And uh, I guess I'm going to do Samsara again. I don't want to take a risk here. I'll do the... I don't care how much SP it costs right now. Die! Okay, and now let's see how much experience we get for that, eh? Ooh, I wonder if we get a rank... If we get a rank 10 wand, no wands. Okay. In that case, I will take my level 8 coin... And take that all the way to the bank. Hey, 8,000 experience is 8,000 experience nonetheless. And that's without a wand. Imagine how much experience you get with a wand. That's why I was so concerned about beating the Reaper really quickly. Is because I have a bit of grinding to do so I can fuse all the personas. I have to get up to at least level 90. Because that's the highest level persona is level 90. Um, and I did not want to grind all that in Adama. However, I didn't want to run out of time... But in here, in Monad, this is by far the best place to grind of anywhere ever. Also, um, if you're playing on Persona 3 Portable and you're in Monad, remember that you don't have what I have, which is where Fuka can make me an escape route wherever. If you choose to leave the first floor of Monad, there are no more access points. You have to make it all the way to the final floor, which is floor 10. Um, so if you're going to grind in Tartarus or in Monad here on Persona 3 Portable, Highly, highly, highly recommended. Unless you know what you're doing, you stay on floor one. Just FYI. So let's see what we have with this guy here. Maybe some more things that are weak to light, hopefully. Ooh. Uh, these. Are these the white sigils? Or sigils? Sigils? Yes, they are. These guys, I want to say, are weak against fire. So I think I have Seth with me. I do. Break out our Maragi dine here. And go to town, Seth. And hopefully we can get an all-out attack on him as well. Ooh, yes! Uh, the question is, how much damage is our all-out attack going to do? Because these white sigils are level 92, after all. Uh, not going to kill them. However, whoa, not really even close. Okay. Well, that is a thing. Uh, Mitsuru, they absorb ice. Just FYI. Now you know. Don't let them do their Megadoleon. That would be awful. But Magarodyne... Paired with my, yeah, now my Maragidine, um, and then another all-out attack will kill them indeed, and we can get all of their experience points for us to level up with, and it's wonderful. Monad is just the best. Oh, leveling up to 99 in here is so rewarding. Mainly because it's like, look at all these numbers I'm getting. Bid numbers everywhere. Ooh, rank 9 wand. For just two enemies here, uh, we get... 12,000 experience just for the two of those enemies. I mean, there's just experience for days going on in here. It's insane. That was all. Uh, I just wanted to point out how crazy Monad is. I'll actually be showing off most of Monad in, uh, I guess this is the first time I can announce that there will be bonus videos to this LP, and Monad will be involved 
in some of them. So I'm not going to show all of Monad off right now, but now you know it exists, at very least. So uh, I'm actually probably going to do some grinding here, and I will meet you back at Tartarus once I am, like, tired-ish. Oh my god, how lucky can you get? This is my first venture to floor three of Monad. The rare chests in Monad are very, very rare. And I just got one on my first try. My first visit to floor three. I guess that makes up for my, for my problems with the Chuzumaru, which shouldn't be that hard to find, but I spent hours looking for. Wow, okay, that is wonderful. That is just absolutely fantastic. Um, also, I am like level 88 now, I think, or something. I've done so much grinding. It's like the best. Uh, I love, I love Monad for that reason, that it's so easy to level up so very quickly. So I'm going to go get to 90 really quick while I'm here. Might as well. And then we can have a supplementary episode sometime in the future. Not next time, but sometime. All right, guys. So here, request number 91. Bring me a Mioho Muramasa. However you say that. Uh, well, we got one, luckily, as you saw. So might as well accept the request and immediately turn it in right now. Oh, it's cursed? Well, can you please take it from me then? Uh, I don't really want it... Was that your plan the whole time? Getting me to be cursed? That's not very nice. That's not what I wanted to hear from you. <sighs> okay, so Starlet Havoc. And unfortunately, quest number 55 right here is not available to us. Once again, bonus episode. Uh, look forward to it. But yeah, we still have to do all those uh, fusion spells at some point. Whenever we fuse the rest of the personas, we'll do the fusion spells then. Um, but for now... Man, we've already accomplished so much this episode, like, I'm not even kidding. We've done, we beat the Reaper, we got all the way up to level 90, so we can fuse all the rest of the Personas that we ever need to fuse, ever. Because it's all the Personas there are. I mean, I call that a job well done, or a mission well accomplished, or something along those lines. Uh, we did our, we did what we needed to do, we did it well. It only took like an hour and a half, that's not so bad, uh, all things considered. Considering grinding that in Automa would have taken, like, forever, probably. Uh, forever is pretty much accurate. I mean, I was going in there, and I was getting 20,000 to 40,000 experience of battle, and it still took me an hour to an hour and a half. So, I mean, yeah. Hi, I guess. Am I available? Sure, yeah, why not? Yeah, that could be lots of fun. Yeah, no, of course. I do wish to talk to her once classes are over. You are correct, game. How do you know? It's like... You heard what I said, or read my mind, or none of the above, or all of the above. Also, before I forget, um, I should show that when I was in Monad, on Shuffle Time, a couple personas appeared. Mother Harlot here of the Empress Arcana, and Scotty also of the Empress Arcana. So we got both of those without having to fuse them, which is, like, pretty convenient. So there's only one Empress persona left as well. However, that's a discussion for another day. She's looking directly into her eyes. Well, how can I say no to that, after all? Yes, please. Where would you where would you like to go after school today? What does a robot do after school? Does she just go home or oh, the roof. I see. Yeah, it and beautiful view of the water and everything. I understand. Completely. You can? That's really far away. <laughs> the view here is nice indeed, I guess. I guess, I guess if you're a robot, yeah. But, do I like this town? Yeah, I like it a lot. I have all you friends here after all. It's like we're the same, or we share a special bond or something, you know, I guess? Uh-huh. Emotions can be scary, but that's why they're fun. At least in my opinion. Okay. So do I. Sorry. 
I kind of got lost in just hang on to the feeling, the, the journey, uh, don't stop believing. Those lyrics were just running through my mind, and I was hardly even noticing that, oh, hey, I should probably be talking. There's a video game going on in front of me. And all I said to Igus was, okay, and I was super rude. That is my apologies, Igus. I'm sorry. Sometimes you just get lost in the music that is non-existent. That's nothing to be sorry about. I enjoyed talking with you. No, no, no. January is my favorite month. I love the brisk, the brisk air with the wind and everything. That's the truth, too. Love it. Just, for instance, the feeling of waking up on a cold winter's morning, and it could be sunny out, but it's brisk. Hi, how is your day? And there's a slight wind, and like you have a cup of coffee in your hand, and you're just standing out there, and it's cold, but it's wonderful. It's the best. The absolute, be absolute best, in my opinion. So, oh, uh, there's really nothing for us to do tonight. Well, actually, Toro, do you want to go on a walk tonight? Uh, okay, sure, let's go on a walk. Why not? It's been a while since we've walked you, after all. Wonder if he's going to fetch us some sort of random item from the depths of the shrine today. Also, really, there's even graffiti all over the shrine. <gasps> Chihiro, hi! Why are you so... I thought we got over your nervousness. It, no... Oh, you're afraid of Koro. No, he doesn't bite at all. No, he's, he's super nice. He's super smart, too. Yeah, no, it'll be okay, I promise. It, he's so friendly. He's so nice. Oh, I haven't seen you in forever. It's so nice. To, how have you been doing? It's been so nice to see you. Okay, Koro, you didn't get us any items today, but we got something better. We got to see Chihiro, who we haven't seen since, like, the beginning of this LP. Oh my god, that was months ago. That does not feel like months ago. God, this is... That was a long time ago. But it doesn't feel that way. Damn. Holy god, okay. Sorry, just... Nostalgia from the last couple months of Persona. Persona times. Are you guys going to be talking about the cult again? Really? The cult has flyers now? Nyx has a logo too? What? No, why Why would you want to know about that? That's not, that's not good. Nyx is not good, no matter how nice of a logo she has. Don't buy into the marketing scheme, girls. Don't do it. Some people just never learn. They just like logos and therefore do not care anything about anything. Hi, Mitsuru. What's up? No, of course you're not. I am absolutely free after school today. You said that same exact thing to me last time we hung out together. So I don't really feel like reading it this time. But I still want to hang out with you. So don't take my skipping of your message as a blowing off of your invitation. Because while well, I guess might not be available today, Mitsuru is. So let's hang out with her, because... Wow, once we met... Basically, Mitsuru and I guess uh, Empress and Aeon, respectively, are the final two... Final two social links that we have to really worry about. Which is kind of crazy, considering this is going to be the rank 9 event with Mitsuru right here. And then it's just going to be I guess. Like, that's how close we are. So close. No, I absolutely have time now. I'd love to talk. I don't want I don't want you to be upset or nervous or anything about whatever you have to say. I hope you don't regret what happened last time when you fought up fought up. Stood up to that guy for us. Or for me, should I say. Well I stood up for you, you stood up for me, we stood up for each other. Oh really? Is that not an abuse of power? <laughs> okay, then I guess I guess it's all right this time in that case. Then what what is it you do care about? It's not like her to be flustered. What? What? You have nothing to be sorry about. 
I don't know. If I say, I don't think she'd like it if I just said, don't worry about it. Because clearly she worries about it. So I guess I should just be appreciative. Of course, yes. Good. Oh, that's... That's what she's sorry about. Sometimes emotions just take over, Mitsuru. It's okay. <laughs> well, maybe that way you just can't take it back now, you know? That's a, I think that's a much better world than what you had previously, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> Why is that something to die of embarrassment over, Mitsuru? I like you too, clearly. Wish you wouldn't hide it from me in the first place. And you to me, very much so. But we can still do stuff in secret, right? We can, like, go on dates in secret and go out to ramen together in secret. And do secret stuff together in secret. I'm okay with secrets. For now. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, rank 9, Mitsuru. Yay! We did stuff! We did something right with our lives. I think that might be the first time she called us by our first name. <laughs> okay. Please, do. Good. Very good. I'd... It's not fair to someone to be shackled by their family name or their family business or... whatever. Of course I will. You know me. Oh, but we had to return to the dorm separately. That's so sad. But, like, we live in the same dorm. It wouldn't be that suspicious for us to go back together, right? Doesn't seem like it would be, but, I mean... I guess. Sad. Okay, so... Uh, oh, I guess. What is Koro saying? Yeah, tell me about it. Are you kidding me? Look at how well they've done. Well, do you think they were paid off? No, I don't. I just think the media is the media and is therefore kind of controllable. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Maybe that doesn't make any sense. But with the bias in the media, it's so easy to, like, use that bias to your advantage. Now we're just getting into, like, weird discussions that we should not be having, essentially. So let's just go to bed for tonight, and everything will calm down tomorrow, hopefully. And if everything doesn't, we ourselves will calm down tomorrow, at very least. So... <sighs> A deep breath, and now everything is better. And it's a new moon. There's that, too. So, uh, Mitsuru is busy with student council today, but that means I guess is very much available for us to hang out with. Very much so, yes. Also, you said the same thing last time. Sometimes their discussions in the middle of lunchtime change. So I try to, like, I give them a chance to say something new each time. Uh, ooh, afternoon. We have class in the afternoon? That's not fun. I don't want to have to worry about classes right now, especially not for Mr. Ono. Why is he crying? Everybody break out their cell phones, please. Okay. If you say so, Mr. Ono, I will take your word for it. Yeah, some people are crazy. The end of the world, I mean, who would seriously believe Nitz isn't real, right? 
There's no, no, there's no way Nix could possibly exist. You don't even know what you're talking about, peoples. Yeah, that. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Uh, so, after school now, uh, we will hang out with Igus next time on Let's Play Persona 3 FES. So, until then, thank you guys so very much for watching this, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.